Hello everyone, my name is Shapneet Kaur and welcome and welcome back to This in Canada. In this video, we will talk about top universities to do masters in data science in Canada. Data science jobs are among top 15 tech jobs in Canada and average salary from NT level range from 50k and if you are experienced then it can go up to 100k which is a lot in Canada. So in this video, we will talk about the universities where you can pursue masters in data science and in this video, we will only consider universities which offer program more than one year because if your studies are less than one year or one year there is a risk of getting work permit for less than three years and it could be a complicated situation after you do masters i will tell you about the admission requirements in the university i score and fee structure and also very important thing i will also tell you the options if you don't have your undergrad degree in computer science calculus statistics mathematics or the fields related to data science what are your options to apply in this university how you can get a degree or diploma in data science we will cover everything in this video and a friendly reminder before starting this video please do subscribe to this channel and like this video because it took a lot of time in researching about the universities and also i will be providing all all the links directly to the data science department of the university so that it's easier for you to navigate and i will also provide timestamps of different universities so number one university in our list is university of waterloo and university of waterloo offer two programs in data science one is master of mathematics in data science and the second is masters of data science and artificial intelligence so the difference between two is that master of mathematics in data science is research based is thesis based so you have to find your supervisor before applying and university will provide you funding to do the research but master of data science and artificial intelligence is course based so there is no research involved you have to do projects you have to attend classes and that is the coursework you have to do and you will not be provided funding you don't have to find a supervisor and you can apply directly under the program but the good thing with master of data science and artificial intelligence is that that it provides co-op program so you can find co-op you can find internship in good companies where you can have hands-on experience these are the difference between two programs and it's up to you whether you want to pursue your studies towards research or you, or you want to focus on industry and coursework so these were the difference so let's move forward to the admission requirements for both the programs let's first discuss about masters of data science and artificial intelligence you have to have four year bachelor's degree in computer science statistics mathematics or related field. average percentage in your undergrad degree should be 78 percent or higher and the i score required is 7.5 with seven in writing and speak so these were the admission requirement for masters of data science and artificial intelligence but what if your degree is not in computer science or statistics or mathematics how you can apply for that when they write about the admission requirement they also say the related field so your undergrad degree could be in computer science statistics or related field so make sure to verify the courses you took in the undergrad email university regarding that whether you can qualify or not to apply applied in masters in data science if your degree is in not computer science the second thing you can do is you can enroll in data analytics diploma program which come under master of management science all other uh, department master of management science and you can get a diploma in that so i want to make it clear you will not get your degree in data science you will only get a diploma and the third option which you can have is i did masters of electrical and computer engineering so my program also offered courses related to computer science there were many students with me who took computer science program and there were program related to data science and data analytics like big data but if you will take electrical and computer engineering you will have courses related to data science or data analysis but you will neither get diploma or degree in data science you will only do courses which will definitely help you to find a job related to data science so in masters for data science and artificial intelligence fees per course is around 5000 canadian dollar if you take two courses in a term that would be around 10000 canadian dollar and now moving forward towards master of mathematics in data science which is more of a research program the admission requirement is same you need to have 78 percent to 80 percent in your undergrad degree in computer science statistics or so ielts requirement for master of mathematics in data science is 7 overall with 6.5 in 
in speaking and 6.5 in writing. Per term tuition fees is around 7,000 Canadian dollar, but you will get funding. Simon Fraser University, which is located in British Columbia, and you need to apply under Master of Science of Computer Science, and you will get degree in Big Data. So the requirement in Simon Fraser University is you should have your bachelor degree in Computer Science, statistics, same as University of Waterloo. And the age is also same. It is about 78 to 80 percent in your bachelor's degree, and the I score required is seven overall, with six point five in each program offered is course based program and they do offer opportunity for co-op which is very good and the fees for the program is around 10k per term I know which is very expensive but they do offer co-op pro and what I like about this university is that they will give you hands-on experience in lab you will have your co-op term where you will get hands-on experience with good companies but also during studies they will give you hands-on experience in lab you have to do some lab work what if you don't have your bachelor's in computer science or related field to data science what are your options to apply to Simon Fraser? You can still apply and they will give you qualifying offer letter. It won't be a completed offer letter. It will be just qualifying offer letter and they will ask you to complete up to four courses before they send out your final offer letter. So you can apply, but you have to complete up to four courses, which they will tell you to complete. It, when you complete those courses, then only they will send you a final offer letter. What if you don't want to do all those courses? Then what is the option? You can do data science program in UBC. University of British Columbia. University of British Columbia is an excellent university. You can do a data science program in UBC and they don't have a very specific admission requirement that you need to have undergrad degree, computer science or data science related field. You, you just need a four year bachelor's degree with good percentage and you can apply. The catch here is that and that's why I will not recommend you to go to UBC to do data science program. The catch is that the program is only for 10 months. It's not even for one year. The program is only for 10 months. You can apply to the program even if you don't have a computer science degree, but the program is 10 months, which means there is high risk of you not getting a work permit of three years and the complicated situation after you complete the program can rise where you but this decision is totally up to you i'm just letting you know that this is the option if you're gaining value out of this video don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel and the next university in our list is university of toronto and it also offer masters in data science and the admission requirement is you have to have a bachelor's degree in computer science statistics calculus and related field and an average percentage of about 77 to 78 percent and higher and the IELTS requirement is 7 overall with 6.5 in each but this university is definitely expensive one and per term fees for the program is 15,000 Canadian dollar they do offer co-op which they call as applied research internship and you will gain a lot of experience so you have option of University of Toronto also but it is expensive but it is a good university and the next university in our list is Carleton University which is located in Ontario. This university is good if you don't have degree in computer science or data science related field but you really want to do something in data science to get good job in Canada. So they don't offer a masters in data science but they do offer specialization. How you can get specialization in data science in Carleton? You have to apply in one of the master degree like electrical and computer engineering or computer science or biology like their list of master degrees they offer and they will give you specialization in data science you have to apply masters in those program and the specialization would be in data science so you have to keep in mind your degree will be in the program like electrical and computer engineering or computer science but you can have specialization in data science that means the Carleton University have requirement that you need to have 70 to 75 percent in your undergrad and there is no specific field. You can apply to any masters and you don't have to have a computer science field in order to get specialization in data science. And the IELTS required is 6.5 with no minimum of 6 in each module. The average tuition fees is around 7,000 Canadian dollar. But the last university in our list is University of New Brunswick. And they also offer same as Carleton University specialization in big data. So you have to apply under geometrics engineering department masters of geometrics engineering and you will get specialization in big data so you won't get a degree in big data 
but you will get specialization and they do offer co-op program also the and you need to have 70 to 75 percent in your undergrad and it doesn't matter which field it is you just need 70 to 75 percent in your undergrad These were all the universities which offer masters in data science or specialization or diploma in data science. Now, and now it's up to you to make that decision. I hope you like this video. If you like it, consider subscribing, smash the like button, also comment down if you have any question. I try to provide answer to each and every question. And I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care and bye bye.